cat, it's Thursday, April 12th. Apparently, it's also National Grilled Cheese Day. I unknowingly ate a grilled cheese sandwich today, and I felt pretty impressed with myself when I found out afterwards. Damn coincidences. Yeah, this week hasn't exactly been filled with a whole lot of really amazing things to tell you about. I mean, you kind of know the biggest things that have happened, like me getting okayed for the new treatment plan and all good stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. Also, you should never have to worry about the greasiness of your hair and how gross it is, because look at this shit. I haven't washed it since a few days before Guar. Before Guar. It still has Guar blood in it. It's... Maybe that's why it looks so red. Oh. Oh, I should probably tell that girl which hair dye I bought and it was wrong because it's stage blood. Ah, oh, shit. And also, no, I'm not the amazing one. Yes, we're going to turn into this, like, horribly annoying couple where it's the, no, I'm not awesome, you're awesome. No, I love you more. I love you more. I love you more. I love you more. People are going to hate us, but we're still going to love each other because we love each other. Obviously... I'm not the amazing one you are because I wouldn't have bought that ticket for you for your birthday a few months in advance if I didn't think you were as amazing as I think you are because you are that amazing. Yeah! Did you really think that I wasn't going to give you another chance to see and meet your hero? I mean, come on, I know how much Butch means to you. It's my duty as your platonic life partner to make sure you're as happy as I am able to make you. <laughs> And also, like you mentioned in your last vlog, it was pretty nifty because you and I have both been retweeted by our idol slash hero slash Zomfaga peoples this week. And it's so exciting. I mean, now Butch like triply knows that you exist. And that is so cool. And I am so happy for you. I know Amanda Palmer knows that I exist. And she knows that my pits exist. I mean, she doesn't know yet that like she's one of my biggest heroes and inspirations when it comes to like everything. It's just really, really cool and really neat. And I'm just so about it still. She knows about me. She knows about my pits. However, I do have a funny thing to say about my pits. Ugh, screw you, terms of service. My pits? I adore my pits. The reason I don't shave my pits is because I have the choice not to. I mean, I, I could if I wanted to, but I don't. So I'm not going to. And that's what makes it so awesome. I'm not one of those feminists who's like, just let your body hair grow, man. I mean, otherwise you're just conforming to society. And if you do that, you are a little bitch. Because preserving the natural state of your body, man, is the only way to go. You're fucking everything up if you shave. No. What, what the, the whole thing about feminism is the uh, equality and having the choice with women to do what they want with their bodies what they want to do. I shave everything else because it itches like mad if I don't. But if I shave my pits, it sucks and it itches so badly. It's like, I want to like tear off my skin. And another thing that makes me kind of sad is when I tell other people, because honestly, I don't really give a crap and I have girls apologizing to me because they don't do the same. It's like, oh, I would, but, or, uh, just, oh, I don't do that. And they act like I'm gonna bite off their head because they don't, and that makes me so sad. It's the whole point is that you have the choice to do what you want with your body. That relates to so many other things in this world, whether it be body modifications or shaving or abortion or what the hell have you. You're allowed to do whatever the hell you want with your body. Fuck who says otherwise. But another funny thing is that I haven't received any shit from dudes about my pits. I haven't gotten any dirty looks from them. Nobody has given a shit. It's only girls. Apparently dudes think it's fine. At least they haven't said anything or looked at me like I'm crazy or anything otherwise. It's, it's just chicks that have. They look at me like I'm disgusting and like suddenly I've grown like six heads and a few extra set of arms and I'm just like, I mean it's not like I show them off either. It's not like I'm running around like, Woo! Woo! Look at them! And it's not something I want to do to show off either. I'm going to keep dressing how I want to dress because it's, it's how I dress. And if people see my pits, alright, cool, I don't give a fuck. I don't do anything for other people to see it. Apparently that's really hard for people to understand that I do things just because I want to. Not to show off. 
just because I like the way it looks, or I like doing it. I guess it's really hard for some people to grasp. Kind of like remember in 2010 when I chopped off all of my hair into a faux hawk? And it was pretty badass, but I got some negative feedback about it and that I looked like a boy. Do you remember that? And how Rob said that I was just like every other old teenage bitch with an attitude problem. But the truth is that when I went in to do it, I had never felt so brave in my entire life going and getting all of my hair chopped off. It had never been that short before. I just, at first, I was so afraid to do it because. I wanted to be pretty, and I was so afraid that boys would think I was ugly if I cut off all of my hair. And then suddenly when I didn't have anything holding me back, it was like, holy shit, why the fuck do I care about what other people think? The only opinion that matters is mine. If I think I look good, if I think I'm beautiful, that's the only thing that matters. Not if other people think it. And then I went and I hacked off all of my hair and I had never felt so pretty in my entire life. And it was bitchin'. And I think I just kind of went off on a bit of a tangent and rambliness. But yeah, I just felt like getting all of that out there because, you know, it, it's worth hearing about. Going back on subject, I guess it's just not okay for me to not shave my pits unless I look like this. I had the opportunity to go and drag. Don't think I wasn't going to take it. And you have to admit, I make a pretty cute boy. Cat, I love you so much. I will see you on Monday. Bye! Mwah.